Hi, I'm Amelia Tamayo, and this right here is the car lock on the back seat of a car. Let's find out how it can save your life. A few weeks ago, a college student in South Carolina was killed by a fake Uber driver. When she entered the vehicle, she was unable to escape because these car door locks were activated. Now, anytime you hire a rideshare service like Uber or Lyft, there's a few things I want you to do. First is, I want you to wait inside. This makes it harder so that a potential predator could target you as a potential victim. Second, I want you to ask questions. What does this mean? I want you to stand this far away from a driver's window and ask a few questions such as, what is your name, which you can verify in your app, who are you looking to pick up, and where are you taking this person? This way you can verify that they're not a fake driver and you can be safe. If any of this information turns out to be false, I want you to run away to safety immediately. In other news... Over break, you may have noticed countless flyers and sidewalk chalk on the Smith College campus. These have been the culmination of Smith students' protests against decades of unaddressed demands advocating for their rights of undocumented, transgender, disabled, and many other groups of students. To understand their perspective, we went down to Thursday's protest and spoke with student organizers and participants. Why am I out here today? Um, I think as a marginalized student, it, I definitely felt like a need to be out here today just because like existing in a space like Smith, which is a predominantly white institution, can be really difficult on a day-to-day -day basis. So I felt like I, I had to be here for myself, but I also had to be here to support undocumented students and other marginalized students because the way Smith kind of like ignores our needs and has been ignoring our needs since like 1968 is kind of like... We can't stand for it anymore, especially because they have enough money to do something about it. President Kathleen McCartney of Smith College declined to interview, but she issued an open letter to the community stating that, I join so many members of our community in thanking you for your advocacy on behalf of those who do not feel a sense of belonging at Smith. There are many competing demands for resources at Smith. Members of our community have big hopes and dreams, such as more financial aid, new facilities, and new staff positions. As always, any new initiatives would require repurposing existing resources or raising funds. Accordingly, I will be seeking input from students to help me prioritize inclusion initiatives. Like many of you, I came to the inclusion conference as a learner and a listener, seeking to deepen my understanding of what this community needs. Sincerely, Kathleen McCartney, President. Thanks for watching, and remember, your safety is everything. I'm Amelia Tamayo, and this has been In Other News. Bye!